This morning I went out to fish with um, Julius from Bloemfontein. No, not Malema, the other one. Anyway, me and Pardit had a lot of fun. Julius had an early beer with sunrise. Because he says Bloemfontein is cold, he can't have beer for breakfast. Caught this lovely wave carrick, not a 6 kilogram shadland, just a wave carrick. I never claimed it was a 6 kilogram shad, but anyway, it was supposed to be for Johan Kombrink, but um, I decided to use it for bait. And um, I didn't get anything this morning, lost a trace. And okay, so this morning I called it Tuesday 26 June, but it's actually Wednesday 26 June. And I'm back to tag and release that uh, wave carrick I caught this morning. Um, wind is moderately very strong north easterly with about two people on the beach trying to cast but it's fine we're going I'm going to go for it and this looks this looks like um, hunting water hunt, fish hunting water for me there must be something on the prowl in this channel I want to know what to record my tag here so that everybody can recognize it see I go through the bottom and come out through the nose and a treble in the belly I use nylon on a slide so that's my tag everybody identify my tag okay now we're gonna release it for research purposes I'm gonna secure the tag fish on a 6 ounce grapnel so that um, we can determine if it can be revived from frozen or not. So, um, yeah, my trusty old Akuma X Master Pro 50. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. Stationary equipment is set at roughly about 80 meters offshore. Oh, for scientific purposes, I just want to record this quickly. Uh, there's blue bottles washing out on the ocean, or whatever that means. But so far, they take a few steps, bro. So, uh, for a point of reference, scientific purposes, blue bottles washing out. A few that has got endless problem on putting up this um, slide. It's very easy. I'm gonna demonstrate to you now. You start with it. Uh, facing down to the ocean, this side must face to the ocean. The line must go through that side of the clip and start from the back, spooling it to the front. Sorry, I haven't got a helper here to photo, so I'm just going to show you when it's done. Okay, see, that's how it works. Now, there's no need for this massive rod shaking because you've got a center weight here. As soon as you start shaking the rod, all you do is you have something like this going up and down the line. What you do is you just put this in the ocean. Like that. Right? Now you go back to your rod. Oh, what a beautiful sun sunset, uh, sunset. And all you do is you tighten the line. You tighten the line in such a way that your fish stays in the waves. You see it's already gone. Hey? Now let's let's just walk closer. Change my camera view angle here. As long as that fish stays in the wave and the line is tight, it will go to the ocean. You don't need to shake the line. See there it goes. Three, four, five meters per second. Oh, for those of you that can't be here, look at that beautiful sunset. Some people fishing over there. But dead playing over here. No worries. Huh? Okay. Now we must tighten the line a little bit more. Ratchet's already on. I've already set my drag on striking. See it's on striking. 
So now I can't see my wife, my wife Karik anymore. I don't know if it's swimming, if it's thawed completely, started breathing, I don't know. But what I do know, it's going into the current. Whether it's live or dead, it's going into the current. So now the waiting game begins. Okay, it's a failure because of plastic. Who the hell didn't cut his, dispose of his luggage trap properly? My whole experiment is gonna pass because of plastic. Ah. This I retrieved the, retrieved the perfectly good 8 ounce grapnel sinker. A hook with prawn and two swivels. What well, that is good, good that is to me. For my experiment, I don't know. My fish is still dead. It's thawed, but it's dead. Good carbon, carbohydrates. Been carbon loading the whole day. Just to catch plastic. And an 8 ounce sinker. Who uses an 8 ounce sinker anyway? Anybody that wants to swap me for a 6 ounce grab now? Know where to get hold of me. Angling tip of the day. Always pack your graphite rod back in its protective sleeve. Um, these rods are expensive and they're very fragile. They're brittle. And they shatter like glass quite easily. So always put it back in its protective sleeve. Ne? Tip. If you forgot your rot holders at home, you can just go to the hardware and get you some of this PVC pipe and a hacksaw and you can cut your own rot holders very quickly. You don't need to pay expensive for them, you just need a hacksaw and some PVC pipe. Recap the day. Look at what caused my scientific failure. Look, look. What a waste. Guys, you must dispose of your rubbish responsibly. Not in the fireplace. That's not what the fireplace is for. No. That's why we supply dustbins at the resorts. Is to dispose of your rubbish responsibly. At Strandloper we've got our priorities right. There's the fridge for your fish and your bait. Always keep the previous customers sardines so salted for you for the next customers. So yes, leave your packet of sardines so that we can salt the sardines for the next guys. This is all the backup bait we've got here at Strandlipper for you. That's what they call pan size, isn't it? It fits into the pan. No need to try and clean the head. There's an ugly thing on the tongue. It makes it disgusting. And uh, the gills come out very difficult out of this little uh, wave bag. So all you do is you wash off the sand. Cut off the heat, take out what you can. I try to scale it, there's no scales. If there is, it comes off very difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flap it. And um, first going to cook it and then eat it from the inside of the skin out. I'm going to see how that works. Please guys, if you visit Strandlöper, don't take the fillets night with you. It's expensive to replace them. We try and keep the cost to bare minimum here. I don't have all the luxuries, but they say um, margarine is just sunflower oil. So all we did is we put some extra margarine in there. So it turns into some sunflower oil. We're going to sprinkle it a little bit with some six can grill that we got from Banana Box. We have a pizza oven here at the braai area I'm not going to start the whole pizza oven for one small little wave carrick you can come and start it for your chickens and your fish fillets, your tuna fillets and all the fish that you catch when you come and visit I'm just going to pop it in the little oven see, got a little oven in the kitchen just the right size for a wave carrick Preset it at 250. I'll grill and bake it from both sides. Pop in my stainless steel tray and uh, with six pound spice and a uh, stalk on, and away we go. Just close the lid there. Now we can have some beer. I could smell the ecstasy from outside 
Ooh, look at that baby girl. It needs a little bit more butter, I think. Nope, perfectly done. Six can spice and stalk in a little oven here at Strandlöper, where we keep things plain and simple. Like in Kiss. Keep it plain and simple, stupid. I thought the scales are too difficult to take off, so don't eat the skin, eat it from inside out, leave the skin for the cat. Strandlöper has got a resort cat that will clean out the dish for you. Please don't give it to Pardet. Pardet is allergic to fish. She's supposed to know that, but I don't know. All the steak bones, tea bones, and, and the worst that you don't want to eat, you can leave for Pardet. Uh, me and Pardet will share it. We've got the right size braai, right size table, right size pizza oven, and best of all, we've got the right size fridge. It can hold beer. Lots and lots of beer. You know, like the fridges in the bottle store that can hold crates of beer? Yes. Strandlipper fridge can hold beer. So, you guys, book now. Book soon. You know where to get all of me. 81 for Strandlöper, there's the kitchen, very primitive, got the bare necessities, I'm going to put tabletops in this week, um, I'm going to get them on Friday, so the following week I'll be putting in tabletops, there's the cooking utensils, look, there's two iron pots, you can cook a mean poiki on the braai, and enough cutlery and crockery to sustain 10 people, and yeah, we've got room service daily at 10 o'clock to clean the kitchen and sweep a little bit for you. This is the main bedroom. Bath has been removed, but the shower is huge. You can almost shower six people. Um, that is the second bedroom, a double bed and two bunk beds. You can either rent it for two people or for, the fam for a family. That's the main bedroom. Oh, sorry, that's still the second bedroom. The bunk beds, nice strong sturdy bunk beds, keep the cost down. That is the second bathroom, it's shower bath. The curtain is going up this week. And uh, some extra things to make it a little bit more girly. At the moment it's very rough, I know, but we're going to make it a little bit more girly for the women. The main... Uh, Bedroom, part of the bathroom, walk-in cupboard area. And here we got the double bed. Oh, that is wet against the wall. It's not dirty. We did seal it. The dust is, will dry out sometime. And there's an extra bunk bed in the main bedroom. If the family wants to share, they're welcome. Always keeps the cost down. Book now. Book soon.